Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mangus, and I welcome you guys back to Let's Play Fire Emblem Order of the Crimson Thigh. I haven't done that one yet. That's the best body part, too. So it's time for chapter 16, a dark realization. What kind of dark realization will we realize? And why Why is it dark? Anyway, 30th of Tulan. We have finally crossed into Centurion proper. After our recapture of Tra Traglofar, I know it's Trafaglar, but I like saying Traglofar because it just sounds better. Our numbers have swelled to at least half a size more than our numbers from what we left with from Austerlitz. With such an exponential increase in soldiers, supplying them all has become increasingly difficult. That being said, with this increase, uh, this counterattack is becoming more than just a gamble. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, it's the 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 it's it's Berserker Arvis, as many people have called him. We should uh, be on pace to reach the Bagrat ba Bagrata. <laughs> all these locations so hard to pronounce in a few days. After that, we shall make way to the Cathedral of Masana. Good. What news do you have from the front lines? According to my reports, the forces stationed in the north and central areas of the border are holding. The southern border is being pushed back. I see. Divert some sort of our armies. Or divert some of our armies to reinforce the southern border. Once we reach Bagradas, we will be able to ascertain the situation more clearly. Indeed, but for now, I would ask your grace to stand back and for you to reveal yourself. Oh shit, it's, it's a green assassin. So you're not just a barbarian fool then, huh? Well, it doesn't matter. That two-bit of emperor of yours is dead. Oh shit, teleports behind you. Ha, we won you over. Oh, we won you over, grown oaf. Watch us, you can't do anything. Hmm. You are somewhat skilled, but what makes you think I have to do anything? Empty words. Che, out of my way, dog. Oh. Rodolfo is just killing them. Okay. Well, they're, they're, they're pretty awful assassins. <laughs> are you alright, your eminence? Yes, thanks to your skill, Rodolfo, I am unharmed. General! I found some papers in one of them. Seriously? Assassins walking around with papers? It would appear Bervinia not only aims for your life, but also the relics. Quadruple exclamation mark! This is extremely troubling. We must make haste to Bagradas, and then... I have a suggestion. I believe we should head straight for Masana. I will send the first relic towards Bagradas with Gorman here. General, is sending something of such import with one man wise? I will accomp- No, Rodolfo, you will accompany his grace and myself to Masana. I trust Gorman more than a hundred elite troops. I will, however, send word so more of my men will reinforce the fortress there. I think that was a typo. I take ten of these weaklings to make me- Oh, I take ten of these weaklings to make me bat an eye. Very well, we shall do as you say, General Gorman. Send word to High Inquisitor Gion and Alphonse to improve- inform them of our plans. As you wish. Why would assassins walk around with papers? <laughs> That's so dumb. Okay, I'm gonna go kill someone, but I... In case I fail, at least I'm gonna give away the name of my employer. <laughs> no! No professional assassin would walk around with the documents and their contract fucking on them. Like, that is the most unprofessional move you could possibly make. What if you get captured? It's like, oh, oh, whoops, I have... <laughs> I have this letter here with the signature of the person who hired me. Whoops! <laughs> so fuck, I'm sorry. I mean, like, Crimson Arm doesn't normally do, like, super shoddy writing, but this was... This was really bad. Your Majesty, General Agimus requests an audience. Very well, send him in. As you wish. Your Highness, I was told you summoned for me? You were told correctly. I've already discussed the matter with Manx. But as you are aware, we have word that a Bravinian host is passing through to the north of us. As such, we must spe speed up our advance. Very well, your highness. I'll inform the men. If you would allow me, I'd like to speak my mind. Go ahead, general. Many of the new soldiers, and even some of the older ones, have started to paint their armor red. As I am walking through camp, I have noticed that everyone is standing at attention. Do you perhaps know the cause? Why? For what reason would they not respect the great hero of Astralitz? Hmm, I see. I suppose that the person who regaled them to them who regaled them to his deeds told them out since some important need that was a really weird sentence 
I suppose this person thought that he, uh, that the common man needed someone to look up to. I'm not sure whether to be honored or angry to be held in such high regard. You should have more faith in yourself, General Algemus. What could go wrong? A, re <laughs> a reclining hairline for stay! There's nothing wrong with a reclining hairline, dude. Have you seen your tactician? Stop bald shaming me. Well, your majesty, I'm off to inform Manx. Good day to you, Queen Clara. And to you, General Algemus. I did <laughs> heard you talking shit about reclining hairlines. <laughs> Explain yourself, fuckhead. Manx, I assume you already know. So let's ready up the troops. Yes, I am aware. Just give me a few moments. What's with all the maps? Terrain is crucial to any battle. I am the tactician, so I must say tactician-related things. During the Civil War, I had no shortage of maps to use, but we had next to no info on the area where we're about to march through. So that's why you were sending out scouts, to buy maps? In addition to scouting ahead, yes. What worries me is some of them have yet to return. What's more, these maps seem suspect, yet they are all consistent. Well, if you can't trust maps, then what good are they? Looks like the only obstacle is the small fortress in the plains. Correct. Normally, I would wish to bypass the area, but time is of the essence. So, we'll be bargaining... Barging right through. Alright, Manx, let's do it then. <laughs> so, game is a speciality, after all. Inquisitor Roswell. Wow, that's the guy with a massive nose. Oh no, Roswell's the guy who got his arm cut off by Ernst. So, the guy behind him is the guy with a massive nose. What is it? Can't you see that we're in a hurry? I can, but we have finally gotten the prisoner to talk. And? Is Pervina continuing to advance on this castle? Actually, it would appear that the armies of Ostrich are advancing through this area. Ostrich? How quaint! Did our friend give a reason for this brash endeavor? It would appear that they are attempting to meet with Bervinia to join their war efforts as allies. <laughs> How droll! Who is leading their forces? The mustachied buffoon, I suppose? I was told that General Algemus is leading their army. Algemus? That name seems familiar. I believe he was the leader of that rabble with the man that took your arm. Ah, yes, I remember now. In that case, prepare for us. We shall be waiting at these locations. Sir. Cannoli, remain here at the castle and finish up. It seems we shall be testing our newfound powers far sooner than expected. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. Manx, how much longer till we reach that fort? We'll need to take it today if we want to catch up to Bervinia's vanguard. I'd say about half an hour's march at this pace. We don't want to work stalls the men before we even attack. General, we have an enemy detachment charging towards our flank. What? How big of an attachment? At least 200 strong, sir. They must be attempting to hit us in the flank with a group from the fort. Send the middle part of the column to meet them. The front and rear part shall advance at double speed towards the fort. Sir. Something off, Manx? I'm not sure about this. I agree, but as you said, we need to take that fort today. Bum, 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 bum. Manx, this sure doesn't look like wide open plains. I don't understand, even if the maps were inaccurate, they shouldn't have... Damn the maps! Fighting here has us at a disadvantage. You're right, we should pull back until the rear column catches up. That won't work, another enemy detachment hit the rear column. Yeah, send some uh, of our men back to assist. We will attempt to break our enemy in the swamp. If we don't manage to, uh, then we will be pincered between them and the castle's forces. I don't like it, but it's our only choice. Two arms! Manx, I should inform you of something important. Even if it does not look like it, the swamp is very open for movement, so remain wary of that when you give orders. Alright, so let's check out the map, shall we? It's a swamp. I fucking love the swamp. Let's see if we can drain it. Heh <laughs> I'm gonna episode title right there. So the boss is called Cannoli. Ravioli, Ravioli, give me that cannoli. And he has a fucking bolting tome. Okay. I guess druids can use anima magic in this hack. Yeah, it's like in Sacred Stones where they can use anima magic. He's pretty scary. 20 magic. Wow. Um, I saw, yeah, I saw a druid right here as well. He has an eclipse. An eclipse that can actually hit in this hack, so that's sort of scary. Aside from that... Mostly unpromoted goons. Lots of pirates. I guess that makes sense since there's a lot of water on this map. Um, got a bishop here too with purge. Lovely. So we got a lot of siege tomes. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna show off the new character that I just got. Here is 
Tanya. So Tanya, she's a very interesting unit. Um, her weapon ranks are sort of odd. She has B in Anima and B in Light and D in Stay. So she can use the Men's Staff and she can also use the Loose Tome that she comes with. Um, which is sort of like a Killer Tome. Her bases are actually really good. If you take a look at them and compare them to someone else in my army, like Beatrice, for example, you can see that she's actually better than Beatrice. Uh, she has more stats in almost every single area. She's about as fast, but her magic is far higher. She's a little bit higher level, but she is really good. And being light magic is sort of nice, because that loose tome is pretty busted. Um, her growth rates are not particularly impressive. 50% hit points, 35% magic, 45% skill, 45% speed, 20% luck, 30% defense, 25% resistance. Considering she only has 12 levels to grow, uh, I think Beatrice will be a lot better than her in the endgame, but she's still good enough to the point where I want to use her because, you know, those are some pretty fucking good bases. I mean, they're not quite, like, pent level, but they're up there, like, they're pretty close. I mean, she doesn't have A rank in stays or anything, so she's not, she's not a pent, but she's still good enough to the point where I'm definitely probably going to field her. Uh, there's nothing wrong with having two sages after all. Sages are a ridiculously busted class. Um, I also forgot to mention that she comes with the Aphas drops, uh, which is quite interesting. I, I'm, I I assume it works in this game like it does in the original, so it's like 5% boost to growth rates. Um, I am actually going to give those uh, Aphas drops to Lani. So, I'm going to be using Lani. She's only level 14, and her, her stats are a little bit low, but she is good enough to the point where I think that giving her the Alpha drops and training her up to 20 is going to yield a very good Falconite. And Flyers are pretty good in this game, so why not, right? So I have an Angelic Robe lying around, I'm going to use it on her, and then I'm going to use the Alpha drops on her as well. So with that, Lani's growth rates looks like this, which uh, I think is pretty alright. I mean, her strength growth of 40% is alright. Her other stats are really high. She now has a 55% speed growth. So, yeah, I'm pretty pretty excited to see if Lani can grow into a competent unit. I think it's always nice to have a good Falcon Knight on your team. So, let's see if she can uh, get that Axe Reaver. And I also have a secret book, but honestly, I think I'm just going to sell it. Because I'm a little bit low on cash, and two skill isn't exactly, like, a massive deal. However, I am going to go and grab uh, the Pure Water, because there's a lot of Siege Tomes here, and I'm considering giving her a Vulnerary as well. I think, honestly, that Horse Slayer is probably not going to be super important on this map, so I'm just going to give her the Elixir, I think, and then... Yes, she, instead of the Javelin, I guess she can get the Short Spear, and then I would actually think I prefer for her to have an Iron Lance over a Steel Lance, because she gets weighed down a lot by the Steel Lance, and I would rather she doubles most of the enemies she goes up against, so that is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to be tra training her up a little bit, as much as I can at any rate. I've actually heard this music before, when I accidentally loaded, or not accidentally, when Sora sent me her save state to give me some female tactician footage, I heard this theme for the first time, and I was like, wow, this is a really cool theme. Amazing. So, yeah, um, the first thing we probably need to do is to find a way to deal with this perch bishop, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to activate a pure water on Lonnie. So she's a little bit more resistance towards that perch. And then I think I'm actually gonna give her the Axe Reaver to see if I can score some kills on these pirates. I could also try to like... Oh yeah, now I get what he meant about movement in the swamp. Yeah. Ah, oh, this actually isn't a river at all, it's just sand. That's very interesting. I gotta say though, this map doesn't aesthetically look very good. I don't like these rough edges right here. I think it probably could have been designed a little bit. Like this, for example, this does not look good. This is like... If I designed a map, I would not do this. Like, this also does not look good. I I appreciate what the Mass Raiders tried to do here with, like, creating a swamp, but I think there's ways you can make a swamp without making it look like this. 
you know what? I am sort of wondering if I can reach the sky on the first turn. Also, why does Purge give speed? That makes no sense. You know what? I actually think I can, but I am afraid that this Pegasus Knight will fuck me over, so I'm just gonna do this instead, I think. Okay, not doubling with the Axe Reaver, I guess, but that's fine. Let's see if we can actually kill that Perch Bishop. I think maybe a Steel Lance would have been better suited for that, though. We shall see, I guess. Yeah, I get what I mean now. You can definitely move a lot farther than you think. Anyway, let's uh, check out uh, Tanya in action, shall we? So we can try out this loose tome, I suppose. It is ridiculously good. I actually, come to think of it, I should have given her some better equipment. This is a ridiculously expensive tome. And I don't think I need it for this. It's a little bit overkill. Anyway, um, Sven could probably also use uh, pure water. You know, a barrier staff would have been really good right about now. I wouldn't have mind that. Okay, I think I'm actually going to use my lightning tome for this. Or maybe it's better to use thunder. There's a mage over there as well. Oh, what the hell? I guess this one goes for the archers then. So I gotta mind the boss's range. Uh, okay. A little bit surprised by that. But I guess the ball slow has to mop up what the failures cannot take down on their own. So yeah, I kind of want to train up Ogimus' axe rank a little bit. Because uh, apparently weapon ranks boost damage output in this hack. Which means that Ogimus needs to go and uh, get his axe rank in, uh, in order. Also, um, yeah, I know I got a steel sword on Filthy Frank right now, so that's good. He didn't have that previously, and it was really annoying. Right, so what can we do over here? I mean... I think maybe we need Brendan over here. I think we'll use a shine, and then we can kill the pirate. Wait, Celia? <laughs> Killing them dark mages, am I right? See, a lot of people point down the comments that I think... Are there any Luna Tomes here? Let's see, yeah. So apparently they are Reaver Tomes. I don't know why I didn't see that, but yeah, they are Reaver Tomes. So they, they, they do also get the extra hit and stuff. I don't know exactly what Brendan and Celia's supports give. It seems like they give crit, maybe? Actually, no, the snipers have a 50% in their crit, so... I wouldn't know, actually. Skill and luck. What a Celia level up. Typical Celia level up right here. Alright, so we've got to be very wary of the uh, the long-range magic here, so preferably wouldn't want to get targeted by those. I guess I can go on to this fort, why not? Maybe block some reinforcements. I love the song, it's so fucking catchy. It's amazing. And Celia one-shots the mage. Man, I'm a really big fan of the accelerated experience gains these guys are getting. It's really nice. Here comes the Banky Shaman. Even Sven can't fucking run around this guy. Oh, hi there. Yeah, wow. Holy shit. Enemies do move a lot quicker than you think. Not that Lonnie cares, it's just a bad Luna Tome. <laughs> Wait, why is that guy attacking in melee? He had a short axe. That's a weird AI choice. Maybe he couldn't attack from anywhere else, I don't know. That is sort of weird. Oh, hi there, Eclipse. Wow, Eclipse, that can... it's so weird to see Eclipse with actual hit rates. And even with the 50% hit, it's still fucking garbage. Like, what the hell are you supposed to do with that? Ba -ba -ba. 
Okay, that's good. I can probably kill the Perch Bishop with Lani, granted she can get close to him. Though, I might have to trade her. Oh, hi there. Oi, did you hear? The blokes around here are leaving. Leaving? Like running out of the castle? Yeah, just that. Odd with them paying us as much as they did. Well, in that case, me thinks we ought to help ourselves to that village. It'll be deadly shame to let the enemy have fun for we do. Hehehe, <laughs> right. <laughs> Blimey, we Australian bandits. Oh, <laughs> no, right. Oh, I can't trade it to her. Let's see if she has the damage. Uh, she actually does. Um, although, I'm gonna have to use the Axe Reaver if I wanna do that. That's a bit annoying. Okay, Axe Reaver it is, and I suppose. Actually, you know what? If that Axe Reaver breaks, I can swap to the Short Lance. That'd be pretty cool, actually. And then I'll be able to retaliate against the Bishop. Granted, the Pegasus Knight move first. We'll see what they end up doing. But yeah, that's the full level of Polani. That's pretty good. Hit points, strength, skill, luck, resistance. I'm pretty happy about that level up. A uh, little bit. Wait, can she get a. Oh, she can get attacked by. Ooh, that's not good. Yeah. Not necessarily a massive fan of this. Yeah, I hope that, that those Pegasus Knights won't completely murder her. We shall see. And she is a little bit weak for this part of the game, I guess. I mean, I guess what I can do is I can see if Whalen can... Um, if I put Whalen here... I doubt he can reach. Maybe he can rescue her? Wait, oh, what I can do, I suppose, is I can I can block one of the entry points, so... Yeah, I can do that. That is actually not a bad idea at all. And I'll use the light brand. Yeah, I think that works. Um, so yeah, I think I'm probably going to steal one of Beatrice's weapons. Probably will do that, yeah. Because, uh, I don't want to be using an Akira. I don't know why she comes with an Akira Caliber, I mean... I, I mean, I su I mean, I guess there are flyers on this map? But still, it's a bit of an odd choice. I think, like, an Elfire Tome would fit her better. Alright, so let's, uh, give her... Let's give her a Fire Tome at the very least. So she can do something that's not Air Caliber. But I will say, being able to use men from the get-go is kind of useful on a Sage. I wish you could use Physics, but hey, I haven't actually... Have I gotten a single Physics staff yet? I don't think I have. I actually don't think I have. Anyway, let's one-shot this mofo. Bam. Dead. When I guess Brendan can deal with... Actually, no he can't. Alright, guess I'll just put them next to each other to level supports then. And Bolslaw can fuck this guy up. Fucking hell, steel longbows are the best. Don't know what to do with Sven, though. I could keep him on the floor. I don't want to want him to go into the boss's bolting range. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I mean... I'll keep him on the fort for one more turn. Why not? Probably gonna come some pirates out of there or something. You know what? Um, shit, I got healing on everyone, don't I? I guess Manx can go after these guys. Why not? Oh, hi there. Oh no, Poison Axis. I fucking hate Poison Axis. What is up with Brendan not doubling this guy? Fast Axis, I guess. No! Poison animations! The worst! Uh, I hate poison animations. They're literally worse than Hitler. Ugh. Um, I think actually Lonnie would have been fine. She could have taken two steel lances to the face, and maybe she would have died after the monk attacked her. I'm not sure. Oh no. Lightbrand. Whalen. Scary. Scary unit right here. That looks really dumb. <laughs> S 
Zero hit short axe, ladies and gentlemen. Zero hit short axe. Let's see if this hits. Wow, Eclipse actually hit. Call the fucking press. It happened. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I am going to make a cut here and I'm going to be continuing in the next uh, episode. Join us next time as we watch two hours of poison animations. Hope you're excited. But we will drain the swamp, guys. We will drain the swamp and we will make Centurium great again. Uh, leave a like and a comment. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.